Hello, y'all. Oh, Blue Thunder 2169 over here in Northwest Oregon. So, I think that most radio operators that have been um, radio operator, specifically CB, um, know what a Cobra 142 is, or probably know the gist. It's a sideband, uh, one of the base station models that Cobra, back when it was a product of Dynascan Corporation, put out. 40 channel AM, upper lower sideband, has volume, squelch, uh, dynamite control, RF gain, uh, SWR calibrate, the voice lock, the um, AM sideband switch, or, um, uh, I mean, now that's not, not technically not a switch. Um, I'll come back to that. You got your noise blanker, um, a slash automatic noise limiter, noise limiter, and off position switch, uh, CBPA switch, SWR, SWR calibrate, and modulation um, switch over here. These two are um, obviously three position. Now, if you listen, where's the microphone at? Can I get the microphone closer? So, some of you may go, oh, I know what's going on there. This is, um, this radio has been modded. It goes from 26815 to 28085. And this is a 10KC jump switch. <clears throat> Grandfather bought this radio in the mid 80s, brand new, had it modified and the uh, technician put it on a scope and aligned, got everything, you know, made sure everything was aligned. Uh, back then, I mean, I don't really know what all that entails. And I'm not necessarily getting into that. Probably C. Let's see here. The lighting on here is pretty bad. There's three position, there's three switches now over there. A red, a green, and a black. Um... So 10KC jump switch. This used to be one of the switches, but I had, um, shortly after I got this, I had us put back to doing um, CBPA. Um, this is the switch. This switch did 41 to 44, and it did something else, a few others, but it was nothing that I ever used. And now the black one down here, up and down, it's where, um, instead of this switch, it's the black one over there. <laughs> I'm not used to doing videos like this, so I'm kind of a little... So, I love this radio. I've had this radio since he passed away in about 97 or 98. I don't remember exactly when I got it after he passed away. Um, it's developed some scratches, some dents over the years of me having it. And it these top two screws are missing. Um, it's definitely seen a lot of miles, um, both from my granddad and myself. Um, something else that came with the radio. Let's see, there's no other switches, just those three on the side. Um, and, uh, whoops, with this 858 chip, I hit the microphone. With the 858 chip in here, put those two switches up. And then that's channel 45. Yep. And on every single radio that I've ever had with the 858 chips, actually, I think almost every radio I've ever had, no matter what technician modified it, the jump switch didn't always work up and didn't always work down. Some channels it would work flipping it up. Some channels you'd have to flip it down. Um, so also the clarifier, this is kind of what sparked me to make this video, this clear, the voice lock, excuse me, is what it's called on the Cobra. The voice lock used to do about six up, six down. And after I first got it, I took it to a shop and I, um, I said, this is what I want done. I would like the PA, put, I'd like it aligned and retuned. Um, 
it didn't need to be repeaked. It worked fine. I just I wanted it aligned because it had been many years since it had been done, and it set for a couple of years with no use before I got it. And I says one thing I want is I'd like to PA put back in it. If the if the PA board or whatever, whatever is in a radio that allows the PA is not available anymore, then I won't worry about it. But if the PA, it's possible just to hook wires back up. I'd like. I wanted the um, PA to work. I know lots of people go, why do you need a PA? Why do you want a PA? Well, I do. And that's a whole other story. So, with that being said, I am... Um, when I got it back from the shop, they go, okay, they got that working again. And they said that they had to do some tuning on the voice, on the voice lock. And that um, they got it to go two KCs one way or something like that. But it wasn't going very far. And I'm like, well, why? It was doing like six before both ways. And I was kind of irritated. And then I was also upset because they left the switches on the side. But they said they had to undo the switches. And um, because it was modified, they had to cut the, um, they cut the wires. They said they left everything in there, but they cut the wires because a, a radio couldn't leave their shop not modified. And I says, I told you before I dropped it off, it was modified. You guys knew it. <clears throat> um, what really got me is I didn't understand at this time. They did not, they did not untie the Clara voice lock. The voice lock still slid transmit and receive, not just receive. So I don't know why they did that. I was so mad. Um, I talked to a manager. I, everything. I am. Um, <laughs> threatened to get an attorney, but really, what was I going to do with an attorney? Because, you know, it's a modified radio. I'll just leave that word <laughs> loosely. It's a modified radio. All right. And uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this topic here. I'm just rambling already seven minutes. So I um, was pretty frustrated. That's when I found this guy in, in the late 90s. I found a guy in the... Um, uh, Staten, Oregon area. Um, anyways, long story short, <clears throat> and after I felt comfortable and got to know him a little bit better, I took and I allowed him to modify, um, to refix it. And he said that, because I had not up until that, up until recently, I had not taken, even ever taken a cover off this radio. And so after I felt confident that he had done some other work and he could take care of me and I let him and he got everything set back up and taken care of. <clears throat> um, and was able to wire um, the black switch for the 41 to 44. So I had the CBPA, 10KC jump switch, and the red and the green over there on the side. And then... The green switch quit working, and I went to replace it myself. I took the cover off. I went to replace the green switch myself. It quit working, and I was like, oh. Um, not only did the switch quit working, but when I was messing around with it, the um, the wire at the other end of the wire from the switch actually came off. So I'm like, I'm not taking and doing this. I let a shop take care of that. But um, that's it. I love this thing. I'll never get rid of it. Out of the, after becoming a licensed ham operator, out of all the radios and all the equipment that I've offed in the years and got rid of, I um, this will not be one of them. And most likely this microphone, this is a Cobra Dynamite Plus desk mic. My grandfather got it also with the radio. There is a couple loose connections or one loose connection in a cord because sometimes it doesn't even want to transmit. And other times it will key up, but no audio passes through. Oh, and in 2008, I'll back up here a minute when I um, passed my ham ticket um, in the U.S. I, um, like a dodo brain, I put the CB up on the shelf. And it wasn't just actually that I got my ham license. It wasn't right after that that I did that. It was, I put this radio up on the shelf simply because um, I we moved into an apartment and I couldn't have an antenna up there at the apartment, so I was stuck with a UHF-VHF um, indoor antenna. 
but there it is. Um, right now, this is a microphone that I'm using. Um, when she decides to work, ever so often I've had to had the audio wire wants to come off. Ten minute video, probably most most of me rambling too. Sorry. Whoops. CQ, CQDX, 2169, 2169, Northwest Oregon, calling CQ with the video rolling. Ah, 4100, Louisiana, 4100, Louisiana, 2169, Northwest Oregon. Yep, I'm not talking to Louisiana today, apparently. There's 35. All right, folks. God bless. And uh, hey, thanks for watching.